Okay everybody, how are we doing today? We're going to do a little install with the H2O Innovations saddle. And uh, what we have here today is we have the H2O Innovations green semi-rigid tubing and also the gray pipe from H2O Innovations as well as their slide. So first thing we do is like to see that we got a nice loop here, about a foot long or so. We got that. And we're going to take our 15, 30 seconds drill bit. We got a little stop around here so we don't go too, too deep. And we line it up, poke a little hole, get a little bit of stuff there in the hole, pull that out. And we have this nice saddle from H2O, a little bit complicated to install, that's why we're doing this video. Let's put that in there like that first. See it has a, has a little tit in there that needs to go down in the pipe, it's a little grommet. Put that in there like that first. And what I like to do is buckle the bottom. There's a little leash here to buckle the bottom. And then you got to force this 90 degree piece down in there. And that kind of expands the rubber out. And another feature that's really nice about these is they swivel 360 once that's in. So that's, that's pretty cool. And then we got a screw, quarter inch drive, goes right in the bottom. You really can't strip that either. It's, it's pretty tough. We got three barbs on there. So you really need to use a tool to install that. Put this tubing on there and start it. And we have this really nice, small double tool from H2O. It's very nice for doing this type of project. That's a clean pretty nice clean install. Now what I like to do is put a couple wire ties here so the wire is exactly where it needs to be so that when whoever's doing the wire tying doesn't have to even think about the saddles. We also wire tie the slide on just for precautionary measures. I use like three or four ties per entrance. Make sure everything's right where I want it. There, done deal. Nice loop in. You like said we got flex here, so if something happens, um, I've installed almost 3,000 of these in the last two years, and uh, they've been pretty bulletproof. So I'm definitely a fan. And thanks.